since we're finally back on the road again and our first stop is here in Chester. It's a medieval city, it's also been a Roman fort and it's incredibly photogenic. And behind me is the clock, apparently it's the second most photographed clock in England after Big Ben. So the archway is about a thousand years old, but the pillars above the arch there, yes. they are two thousand years old, they're Roman. So they were recycled? Eleventh okay. century <laughs> was exactly. Yes, exactly. It's, um, <clears throat> when they were building the abbey, uh, they came across the names quite naturally of the Roman buildings. This is the third cathedral we've been in since we've visited the UK. Uh, we had a little talk with Reg, who is one of the volunteers here, and he asked us if we'd like to attend a service. So we've just been for half an hour to a service, and it was absolutely lovely. the centre of Chester is surrounded by um, a wall and you can walk all the way along the top of it. You can get on and off it at various different places, it has shops opening up onto it and it gives you a great view of the city. Rene, I've noticed that you've been using the public toilets quite a bit today. What's going on? <laughs> well, it could be because someone decided after I said, well, let's empty the cassette toilet while we're at Brown Hills and they've got a chemical toilet thing. Uh, they decided to go, no, it'll be fine. So this morning when we woke up, it turns out our toilet is full. So until we can find somewhere to empty it, we have to use the public toilets. Or it could be that someone has been overusing it. It seems to be in there quite a bit. So if you stop filling it, we wouldn't have to <laughs> empty it so much. What bollocks. <laughs> now we did learn a new trick in Chester and it's all to do with our little toilet package here. It was full. Renee blamed me for not emptying it, but I blame her for using it too much and filling it up. Anyway, the fact was it was full and we were stuck downtown Chester in a car park and we couldn't leave the car park because we were sort of paid our money and we were there for two days. What are we going to do? Now in the corner of the uh, car park was a cafe. And inside the cafe were some toilets. 
but you can't really march in there with this and sort of dump your toilet. It's a, it's a bit off. We don't do that. But Renee showed her true colours. She came out with a cunning plan. Long story short, we put this inside my big backpack, <laughs> and I walked as nonchalantly as you can with 25 litres of poos and wheeze casually into the cafe, went into the toilets, went into the cubicle, emptied it out, put the empty cassette back into the backpack, back on my back, and nonchalantly walked back out again. It worked the treat. So it's not part of our, our regular plan, but it did get us out of a, a tight spot.